City Skylines is a fun-filled city building simulator where you must create and build a sustainable and beautiful city. Hello and welcome, I am Henry Plays and this is my review of City Skylines. This video is part of a series called Games Pass Reviews where I'll find new games on the Xbox or PC Games Pass and review them to see if it's a game that suits you. I promise to help you find your new favourite game on the Games Pass, I upload every Tuesday and Thursday so don't forget to subscribe so that you can find your new favourite game. On the screen right now are the timestamps for the different sections of the video, we start off with the description of the game before going into my review and ending with a final conclusion. Thank you all for watching and on with the video. City Skylines is a fun filled city building simulator game where you must create and build a sustainable and beautiful city. That's not entirely true. You don't have to build a beautiful or sustainable city. The beauty of this game is that you can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to play the game on sandbox mode so that you can recreate famous cities or even your hometown, you can do that. In sandbox mode you don't have to worry about money and you can entirely focus on the creation of your city. However, the normal mode is the real bread and butter of this game. When you play normal mode, you start off with limited funds and the ability to build only the most basic infrastructure in your city. Not to mention that you have to build roads and avenues for people to move in and build their houses and shops. Once you start building up your city, you unlock milestones. These milestones help you to unlock more advanced infrastructure the more you progress through the game, like solar panels and even nuclear power. At the same time, you must balance the income of your city and make sure that it is profitable while keeping all your citizens, shops and industries happy. If there aren't enough educated students, offices and industry sectors will complain. If there's a high demand for residential zones, commercial zones will complain that there's not enough shoppers and industrial zones will complain that there's not enough workers. You're constantly trying to juggle the income of your city with, with building new and exciting infrastructure as well as the needs of your people. There's a lot to think about, but honestly, I think that makes the game more fun. Just to quick note before I move on to the review, I've been streaming this game quite a lot on twitch.tv slash official Henry Plays, and it's been good fun. We're really starting to build a community, please feel free to follow my stream so that you do not miss when I go live. Thank you all. As usual, I'll start off by talking about the positive points before moving on to some of the negative ones. Firstly, my favourite feature of this game is how fun it is to play over and over again. I got this game when it was released back in 2015 for PC, and honestly for some people, this game will be a game that it's all you play, but for me, it's just one in my massive life of simulation city building games, but honestly, if I ever feel like playing one of them, it's always this one at the top of my list. Every city you build will have a unique feel to it, whether you decide to completely focus on public transport one game and completely focus on tourism the next, every game you play will be different and that's why it's so fun to come back to. Another positive point about this game is how long you can actually play it for. You can sink hours and hours into this game without even realising that time has passed to the extent that it has. What feels like a half an hour game is actually more of a three hour game in reality. I've been streaming this game quite a lot recently and when I'm playing I get completely engrossed in the game and I take a look at how long I've been streaming for and see that hours have passed when I thought I'd only been streaming for about 20 minutes. Twitch.tv slash official Henry plays. This is a positive point because there are some games out there that just drag on and on and are boring as hell. But this is definitely not the case with City Skylines. My final positive point is how deep this game actually goes. You have to focus on so much that you can't just put all of your money into one thing. You have to split your funding and resources between all of the different services so that your city is happy. If you put all your money into police and neglect your health services, your city will have increased illness and deaths, but a low crime rate. You need to find the balance in it all, and that's what's so fun about it. When you make new cities, you just must make sure that they're connected to the power grid and water infrastructure so that they are happy when they move in. You also need to make sure that you have the excess power and water to be able to account for a new city. I only really have one negative point for this game, so here goes. People may frown at this point, as people may not even see it as a bad point, but there are a hell of a lot of paid expansions in this game. Here's a list of the extra paid expansions. After Dark, that adds leisure activities and more tourism specialisation, as well as new transportation hubs. Snowfall, that adds winter and all the extra things to look out for, like heat and streetcars. Natural Disasters, which adds, well, you guessed it. Mass Transit, which adds a hell of a lot of public transport options, and many more. You can see that there's a lot of content that's locked behind another paywall. And since we're playing this game on the Games Pass, we don't really want to pay for DLCs for a game that we don't actually own. Overall, City Skylines is an absolutely fantastic game. I've played around 100 hours of the game overall, and I've enjoyed every second of it. I know that people have spent a lot more than 100 hours on one city, and the opportunities that you can create within this game is absolutely fantastic. I recommend this game to any city building simulator fans and genuinely just everybody. There's no harm in trying out this game. This is definitely a game for everyone to enjoy. You may even realise that you love city building games. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, 
please like and subscribe so that you do not miss any future related videos. Check out my other social medias down in the description and comment down below any questions or queries that you may have. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.